Hello folks, welcome to the Wolf Den, one more time. See what I got here? This is tubes, rod tubes, all the way from Japan. So, stick with me, because we're going to do an untubing. As you can see, fragile. The people that I got these from, North, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the description below, uh, below the video where it says show more. You can click on it. There's all kinds of extra information about the video. I'll put the information of where I got these. These are two rods, jigging rods, and I got them from a eBay store it's called North something. I can't really remember. Um, let me grab my reading glasses. So this is going to be an untubing. And I mean they wrap these puppies up really, really good. Actually, the, I always love reading the, the label from, you know, the air freight or whatever here. Yasushi... Kitu Ara, Yashuti Kitu Ara, that's who it's from, and it's funny, again, I'll reiterate, again, you can get stuff, tackle, whatever, off of eBay, from Japan, and get it quicker than if you were getting something from Illinois, Ohio. I mean, these came like that. It just takes them a day or two. I mean, you know, as soon as you order it, it doesn't just shoot out the door. Um, takes a day or two. Let me do it on the back side here. For them to, uh, you know, to get it in the post, as they say. I mean, they did a a really good job here. I mean, they taped the living hell out of this. But these people, they do this all the time. So, I mean, they're very used to it. So you say to yourself, what does Dave have this time? Well, if you follow my videos, and if you are a subscriber, which I always say, go ahead and subscribe. It don't kill you. If you're into tackle junkiness, I said I was getting two jigging rods. Now, I'll show you, of course, if you haven't seen it before, I sort of broke the bank on my first j super jigging rod experience. So, these were more budget oriented, and, whoa, whoa, man, that's some, that's some super tape. These should be identical. And untubing. This untubing is a little tougher than an unboxing. These already come in a box, and I can see that on. These are two piece rods, but they're not two piece like you see some of the crap around <coughs> in the United States. These are what they call furl to butt, I believe. Feral to butt. And that's really one of your stronger two-piece two rod type connections. These rods are, kind of, like I said, budget jigging rods. And... Um, the reason I got them is it sounded like there was a review on them. eBay does have reviews, just not on everything under the sun, but buyers do do some reviews. And there was a buyer of these rods, I don't know if it was exactly this blank or not, and the guy said he bought these and took them to Alaska. And uh, they worked perfectly good for him jigging up wing cod and stuff like that. So, 
It's going to be difficult for me to show you here because I'm in a confined space with a confined area I can have the camera. But these are called um, Pro Blazer or Blazer Slow Jigging. Slow Pitch Jerk Jigging Game. Slow Jigging. High Carbon Rod. These rods that they're making today for jigging are out of carbon fiber. And the more you spend, most of the time, the more carbon fiber of a rod that you will get. I mean, there's rods that are like 95% carbon fiber. There's ones that are 90%. I guess they have to have a certain amount. Okay, let me move that out of the way. They have to have a certain amount to provide the action and the non-breakage. So, let's get this out. Comes really nicely packed in this in this box, and they show you that on on the eBay store. This is the ferrule to butt, where this fits into the butt, not not those sectioned rods that are in half. So this goes in here like that, and there you go. Now this is a medium action, so these have a little more, little more ass, I could guess you could say in American terms. I didn't capture this, but that's why there's a Daiwa Ryoga on this right now, is I was using, when I blew the bank on, my matching wiki jigging Jigging Master Rod with the Wiki Reel, which is nothing more than this is a totally tricked out to the max um, Daiwa. I hooked a fish on this baitcaster here while I was jigging this jig, that jig right there with double hooks. It's a glow in the dark, and I got completely spooled by a fish completely and I don't know what it was this holds I'm gonna say I had like 20 or 30 pound braid on it I think and um, it might hold 150 180 190 yards or something and I got smoked I think it was a big bonita that's what it was and it just smoked off the back of the boat. And I'm running. I'm watching the spool. And I'm kind of running from the back to the console to throw it in the, in the reverse. Um, I didn't make it. It went snap right through the guides. So that's the reason why I'm using a Ryoga now. Because this is for going to be for really inshore. But the difference between... The super dynamic uh, Daiwas and this little wiki jigging reel. Let me pin this on here before I get stuck or something. Okay. Oh my god. No room. No room to do nothing. I wish I could knock down this wall. But the difference between this reel, the super dynamic, and this one that's much larger and uh, the spool's much deeper on this so this may actually hold more line and that's the reason why I'm almost thinking that these super dynamics on these blazer jigging rods is what I'm going to have my customers using if they want a jig and then it gives me a, um, a little heavier outfit to play with too if I'm on my own so that's it yeah, I know you really can't see much the guides are nice they're like double supported okay they seem pretty tough they go to single foot up here six foot three medium I think this has maybe like an 80% or something carbon fiber. 
I'm going to play with it, of course, and, um, you know, see how the action's going to be. Because you know when you're jigging, you match a jig to the weight, and the rod going like this is what's jigging your, your jig for you. Okay. And I know it's going to be very difficult, unless I have really fishermen customers on the boat to get to have them learn to get in that rhythm pop real down pop real down or erratic and then be pushing that button and let it go back to the bottom hit the bottom hit the hit the handle stroke up let it down stroke stroke let it down that type of thing because when you're using these slow pitch jigs you just don't sit there going but that's, people get lazy. They do that all the time. I mean, we're, wherever we're at, I mean, I, I've had people that were out float rig fishing in the river and they sit on the side of the boat and they just push the button and let it go and they don't even look at where their float's going. And you can tell right away that they're not the fishermen. So, I'm kind of set up now. There's only two reasons that I'd be going offshore for any reason this summer. And it's because, well, there's only two things that I'm going to be taking if I go offshore this, this summer anymore. It's going to be jigging tackle and my bow, my fishing bow, to shoot at the spade fish, the kudas, the cobia if he swims up to the side of the boat. That's it. All right. And jigging, of course, you can catch... All the fish, the bottom fish, the fish in the water column, you know, um, like I did. I caught a, I caught that short cobia. If you saw the photos, I mean, he was 31 inches when he needed to be 33, but he was a hell of a fight on this little red uh, jiggy master wiki rod. So that's it. That's the the blazer. The blazer. Uh, slow jig, two piece. I think these run 115, maybe. I think they might were. Um, a guy in Alaska said, "Hey, why pay the big bucks if you're just jigging a little bit?" When I took these to Alaska and I had a ball catching lingcod and all kinds of stuff in deep water. I mean, yeah, I mean 300 feet or something. I mean, what am I fishing? 75 feet? So, I might take these and keep them on here and see how they do. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here for the untubing. And um, now just stay tuned and see if we can catch some fish. Alrighty. Subscribe, share the video, do what you need to do. It all helps me out in the long run so I can keep getting cool stuff. Because it's tough being a tackle junkie. See you in the next video.